everybody welcome back to the channel in this video I, I'm going to show you red key USB version 4.36 yes it is out as you saw in the short video before this video you saw me updating it so it is out so without further ado let's get this started alright so I am going to boot into the red key and we are going to see what is different this is my offline PC that needs to be wiped so we're going to test it on here So I'm going to scroll down to red key and I am going to push enter. Alright, so this is red key USB detected, BIOS root menu. And I let it choose the default setting and we are going to see what the difference is. And I already see some the way this is displaying the numbers is a little different same style same text just a little different All right. So this is totally different, but I like this. This is more of a DOS looking interface, which I really, really like. So if you look up here, you'll see local notice, system stats, screenshot, screen saver, light mode, audio on, media sets, lang select, power off. So if I push F10 it'll shut off the computer which I don't want to do. So if I push F5 but I can't do it. So what I could do is push F6 and we are in light mode. If I push F6 again it should go back. It goes back. So if I push F4 I just took a picture of my screen as it is and I like this this is actually really really cool it handles a little differently but I like that because now for me this just became more usable and more scalable for what you need so I am going to do number one here Oh, this is cool. So, this is like, you know how you play a video game and it asks you to set the resolution? That's essentially what is happening here. So, I'm just going to click OK. And now it's loading. And that almost looks like a sound wave file. That's pretty interesting. So, if you look up here, it tells me the version number of the red key. And yes, it's hardware version 4. That's what the HW stands for, and that's the serial number right up there. So, what I could do is I could do a speaker test. I'll put my... I 
I do have sound on this monitor. Let me just find the volume button real quick. Uh, there we go. There we go. Now this is really, really cool. There's something called an auto nuke and it just wipes the drive completely clean. Just basically it zeroes everything out like it, you just went to a computer hardware store and bought it. But first, before I get into that, I want to get into this. If I click that, I just took a picture, night mode, day mode, here are the settings, There we go. Turn on screensaver so we know what that looks like. Okay. So this is absolutely really, really cool. Let me just make sure that I have the sound hooked up real quick. Yeah, they do. Okay. All right. So the sound is hooked up. Now, Let me just check something real quick. So I have the sound from the KVM switch that goes from the KVM switch into the Oh I see. Okay. Now I should get sound. Okay, it's the computer. So I'm going to do auto. So let's look at advanced. Now what advanced settings will do is it'll give me more settings to do what I need to do. So I can do disk selection, view raw data, clear all settings, rescan disk. This is a disk. It's a hard drive. It is a 298.1 gigabit SATA, which yes, that's what I have in there. So I could select it to wipe, but I'm going to go back to the main menu and you have wipe wizard. I can wipe this whole computer, the eternal disk part or full, I could wipe an external disk or mobile device. Now the thing that I am most interested, oh there we go, I got sound now. So what, what's really interesting about this auto nuke is it has a tornado siren which I find kind of ironic because you know it's going to send a bunch of stuff to the drive. So 
I want to look at this first. There we go. So now I'm getting sound, and what I'll do is I'll take my microphone and I'll put it up against the speaker so you can hear that. So there's nuke now, there's four minute interval, and there's auto destruct sequence. Now, to note, with the auto nuke selection, you click that, everything's getting erased. Everything. Uh, the best way I could put it is to, you buy a property with a house on it, and you just want the land, so you just totally destroy the house. That's technically what you're doing here. So I'm going to do the auto destruct sequence, because that's where you hear the tornado siren. So, here we go. Frozen disks have been detected. This system must suspend temporarily. That wasn't quite a uh, tornado siren, but it's a it's more of an alarm clock. This is a voice test. To adjust audio options, click the settings icon. So I tested the audio. As you can see, the audio is working because I just put my microphone up to the the monitor. I am going to skip this. Warning. The emergency destruction system is now activated. Data destruction will commence in T minus 10 minutes. The option to override automatic destruction expires in T minus 5 minutes. I am now going to cut off the animation here, and as you can see, it stops. So I'm going to mute the audio. So I'm going to cut it off. And we're back. So I'm going to click abort. That's auto auto destruct sequence is what that was. Now, I thought that was the one that did the tornado siren. It is another one that does the tornado siren. I forget which one it is. So I'm going to click nuke now and UKE. All right, so it wants me to test the audio again. This is a voice test. To adjust audio options. And now I am going to do the suspend. So I am going to sleep. Now the computer should wake up. Alright, this computer woke up. The system has resumed. Please confirm if you can still see the screen properly. Press the end key on your keyboard to power down the system or the home key to restart now. 
Press the delete key on your keyboard to... And if you haven't heard it, it did a double ding. So I'm going to leave it alone and we are going to see the screensaver. Now, as I did the review on their website, there is a remote feature, but my network is not set up for it, so I can't do it. as much as I would like to unfortunately I cannot do it so it is now wiping my drive now if I go up here Oh, I can use the keyboard. Cool. All right. So if I go up here, I could change the language. My cursor went missing. Okay, so it's wiping the drive. So since I pushed the button, what's happening is, is it's going to shut itself down. So this is just like an operating system. I really do like this so far, so... So this is very, 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 very interesting how the when I got the red key, how different. Ah, there we go. So booted back up just fine. There we go. So it was wiping the drive somewhat. So you saw that. So this is a good test. So if you ever have to for some reason for shut it your computer down with this in here you won't need to worry I like this animation too 
very, very matrixy type stuff. That sound is almost the same sound that you get when you get a text on an iPhone. Which is pretty cool. So each time you boot it, it's going to ask you to um, do that. Okay. All right, I am back. Unfortunately, when the computer woke up, it's the computer, not the red key. Um, I do have to change the CMOS battery in this thing. Uh, I just haven't done it yet, so it was acting a little funny. Um, what had happened was is I accidentally corrupted the data on here. So that's why you saw all those weird air codes and stuff like that. Uh, all you need to do is use the updater for it and what it'll do is it'll reinstall the software on the red key for you and there's nothing to worry about otherwise you wouldn't be seeing the screen so anyway let's get back we're gonna go to auto nuke again Overall, I like this version because it's more, for me, I like it because it's more of a Linux operating system in the way that it um, displays. Even though the other one was like that, this is more of everything you need to know is up here. You could take pictures, you could do all sorts of things with it. Now, as I will state, this is the only data wiping software that's like using an operating system to do it. Okay, so I did this one, and I did this one. Even though I was showing you the animation and stuff like that. I am going to do the four minute interval. that more alarm clock sound. So I'm going to start countdown.
as you just heard, it has the tornado siren. Not only that, they have the sound powering down, which I think is kind of cool. The animations in this are actually very, very cool. And for me, when I was working on computers, that's exactly what I thought of. It's like, okay. So in two minutes, it's going to start wiping the data. But I am going to click abort and we're going to go to settings here. Uh, screen saver test. How cool is that? This is really cool. So you have your CPU, you have your temperature, you have chassis fan. Unfortunately, I don't have the controller for the case fan. That's why it's called a chassis fan. That's for case. That's my CPU fan, temperature, and all that. This is really cool. So I'll click back, we'll do it again. As you can hear, there is music. And this is my CPU in its current state. I like this background. And just like previous versions, it starts taking pieces and moving them away. Overall, I love this software. Okay, I'll do a separate video just on the screensaver by itself, so that way you can see everything on that. Okay, so to get started, we're going to click OK. Now we're going to do the four minute interval again. So here we go. It's doing the alarm clock sound again. Click Start Countdown. So, this is actually really, really cool. So once this get, starts going... Isn't this really cool?
so I like the way you can wipe multiple things in multiple ways I do like that there's a feature that you could do it remotely but you have to have the network to do it remotely I would have to set it up to where all my computers see each other and all that and I don't have that but overall either whether you're an advanced user of a computer or someone who just uses it to check email or you're in an office building I recommend this software uh, when the company reached out to me to um, review this the first time all right okay and this is the best one of the best software I've ever used I like the fact that it has its own update server I like the fact that if you corrupt it you can actually fix it you could do a lot of things with it from a USB thumb drive and I like the way whoever the programmer is I like the way that they program it in such a way to where it's kind of entertaining to use this I like that and even though I build these things and do all that, I like the fact that it displays what I'm doing in explicit detail. And for so, let's just say the per another person is a basic user, they'll understand, hey, if I do this, it'll wipe it this way. If I do it this way, it'll wipe it that way. It'll do all sorts of... Um, data wiping All right. I caught in on that sound, but it was an explosion sound. Okay, so it's wiping the drive. Now, if you look down here, just like in the last one, I'm not sure if you can see it on film, it's telling me my graphics card, my vendor of the graphics card, the motherboard model, the vendor and the serial number to the board this is a good thing so even if you don't use this software to wipe data all the time it has like a CPU-Z like software on it so that way you can get your data and whatever you need to do just to do it and it tells you the CPU model it tells you the vendor it tells you all sorts of things so this is more than just data wiping software and I like the fact that that it's like that otherwise because then I would have to use a different software and all that this tells you all in one spot so it's multiple what I call multiple purpose So it's enhanced secure erase. So it's doing two out of three. What does that mean? That it's basically working on one part of the drive than the other. Now, this is going to take a little bit longer to erase because this was my daily use computer at one point. So it's now my offline, and I just want to zero out the data to it. 
does drive to it. So if I go down here, I could click each one of the. No, I, I guess I can't. I thought I could. There we go. Ah, these down here you click and it'll tell you what it is. This is pretty, I like this a lot. And I like this animation here so that way if I'm working on something else, I know I could see that animation and know that it's working. Windows, you have the circle. Uh, Apple OS X, you have the CD that has multicolor. That's basically what this is, but it's just an animation that they created. It does the same thing. Okay, see down here? I'm not sure if you can see it or not on camera. It has 3 minutes and 51 seconds. This is 60 minutes. So it's going to take an hour to wipe this drive. Which is okay because then I know the drive is going to be clean. So that's how this works. So I'll be back in about 50 minutes. All right. I am back and we have, it was six minutes, we have five minutes to go. So I want to see what the screen looks like when it's all done. And this will actually wipe mobile devices. Two. That I do have an iPhone X that I want to see if this will work on. And yes, they did say it will. But I want to see for myself. Two minutes remaining. Now here's what I noticed. The elapsed time is up here and it's down here. With one difference. This tell you down here it's going to tell you how long it's going to take. This up here is just the elapsed time. So then this way if you're working on something else you could turn your head to the monitor and go, oh, okay, it's been running for such and such a time.
make sure that it doesn't do anything different. There we go. Alright, you heard that music there. So, this is the same. This means that if I let it go to the screensaver and it was done, it'll tell you it'll tell me, hey, the data has been wiped. So you click that and it's done. So now you click OK. I could view disk raw data. And as you notice, it's all zeros. What does that mean? That means there is no data on this drive. Go to return. I can view the wipe. Now if I go back, you're going to hear a sound. It sounds like the old um, solitaire sound in Windows. heard that you if you hear that you know what it is okay so just like older versions it says report unique ID this is a report uh, this is like when you're at work and your boss is working on a project and they give stuff a unique ID that's what it is so it's this tool used red key USB SW version 4.36 U uh, hardware that's what the HW stands for, version 4, completed at. This software, for me, I'm in the US, so this software was written uh, in the UK. So for me, it's sick, it's the month, day, and year. Where this was written, it is day, month, year. So for me, I would say this is 6 22 2022 it tells me the time system info is this computer model model is a system product name to be filled by OEM vendor system manufacturer serial number system serial number CPU AMD Phantom 2 yes I this computer is a Phantom 2 uh, serial number to be filled by OEM display model that's the card vendor Nvidia yes I do have an Nvidia card that came on the board uh, the motherboard and yes when you boot the computer you, you saw that it says vendor is this it says RAM size audio mother alright so this is the drive that it wiped so this is very interesting it says asset identification tag asset source where asset was originated this would be good for an IT department I like this so now what I could do is set it up for my email I could do this location name technician info destination if known so that way if I'm backing if I'm this software belongs to a company and it gets lost and someone tries to use it you can put name and stuff like that on there alright so we're gonna go I'm gonna save the report you can save it to red key so I'm gonna do that save the red key 
So now if I take this out and put it into my other computer, I can see the report of this. This is also good for IT departments, so then this way, if there's an issue or the same computer somebody's wiping the same computer over and over again and they could see who's doing it. Return. And there we go. So if we go here and this icon right here means I'm working on a desktop. If this was on a laptop it would have a laptop. And I don't have network. So let's go back to settings. Uh, let's go to main menu. So I can get my information from here as well. I just took a picture of that. Took another picture of that by mistake. Screensaver. Let's do a screensaver test. The music's there. There we go. It just had to catch up. That's pretty cool. I like this design. Go to main menu. Let's look at remote mode real quick. So it's initializing. So that would be Oh, there it's not going to work because I don't have this computer hooked up to a network but I'm setting the software up to, to where I could do it Unfortunately, it's not going to initialize network. So it'll just be local is what's going to happen. And it's telling me none is connected because I don't have a Ethernet cable plugged into this computer, but that's what would happen. So if I would plug a Ethernet cable into this machine and do it again, this icon here would change. So we'll do return, go to information, go to license, You know the usual stuff. Let's go to about. Uh, this is what the Ray Key does. We'll go back.
So same stuff. Now let's look at the wipe wizard. Now this is pretty interesting. The wipe wizard, well, I could wipe this whole computer. I could wipe internal disk. I could wipe a partition or the whole thing. And I could wipe external disk, which I did on older ver on an older version, and it worked very, very well. Uh, and you can wipe mobile devices with this. So if I click that, right, make sure you have valuable data backed up if you're sure. So basically, what's going to happen is I'll I have an old iPhone. I will try this on, and I will show you what happens. Now, with this. You know, if it's an old phone that you're going to give to a family member or anything like that, I do recommend that you wipe the data clean. And that will be for another video. That won't be part of this video. This is just to review the software. Uh, my thoughts, the software is amazing as always. I do like the way that there's different wipe options. I showed you the animations for all of them and it's pretty good. So with that said, that is it for this video. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click that bell for more notifications.